What we're looking at here is a driveway and you can see it is not in good shape. Um, there are a lot of cracks and there's actually even grass or weeds growing in, in the cracks. Um, that means that the cracks have gotten wide enough for dirt to settle in them. And once you get soil in the cracks, um, you're going to have uh, plants growing in there. And they got plenty of them in there. Anyway, the reason why I'm making the video is just to provide you with a few reasons why something like this could happen. One of them would be um, that the concrete isn't thick enough. And that's actually what I think happened here is that the concrete wasn't thick enough in these areas. Um, you can see where it's holding up a little better around the perimeter, but this con this uh, driveway actually has a slope in it and looks like they sloped it. And you can see it right here. You can actually see it. There's a line going up from where the grass is growing in the um, where the driveway meets the asphalt. And you can just see it. It's going straight up there. And I got a feeling that uh, they didn't uh, they didn't um, they really didn't plan on that and uh, ended up pouring the concrete a little thinner in the areas where it's cracking again that's just a guess another reason for it would be if the soil underneath the patio underneath the driveway I'm sorry wasn't compacted correctly a lot of times we'll go and we'll dig a driveway hey you know we got to add some more uh, dirt in this area and that's not always going to be good if the soil isn't compacted uh, eventually it will settle and as it settles it'll leave a gap between the bottom of the concrete driveway and the top of the soil you drive over it with a heavy vehicle clunk instant crack so that's one thing Last on the list uh, is that this uh, driveway probably doesn't have any rebar or structural reinforcing material in it. Um, sometimes we use 3 8 inch or number 3 to um, a half inch or number 4 rebar for um, driveways like this and space them between 16 and 24 inches on center in both directions. Another thing you can use, um, we used to call it 6 by 6 wire mesh. It comes in sheets, uh, usually four foot by eight foot, four foot by 10 foot, and they even larger. I've even seen them up to 20 foot long in certain lengths. And they actually comes in rolls too, but rolls are hard. If you buy that stuff in a roll, it's um, difficult to work with. The flat sheets are definitely the way to go if you are going to use that. Um, however, I would recommend using the rebar, half inch rebar at that. Uh, minimum slab thickness uh, for a driveway is going to be four inches and that is the minimum. You can always make it a little thicker. Um, recently I seen a, pour, a driveway poured that was six inches and it's still in pretty good shape but it does have a few hairline cracks and I mean sometimes we're just not going to be able to get away from the hairline cracks that get a little larger. Um, but the rebar will actually help with that. You get a hairline crack, the rebar will help. Um, prevent these cracks from getting larger. So anyway, that's it for this video. I hope it helps if you're planning on pouring a driveway. There are a few things you can do um, to prevent uh, the driveway from ending up uh, something like this and of course needing to be replaced eventually.